Hi guys, this is Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to improve and uh, make sure that your FPS are stable on Overwatch. Uh, I did a video like a year ago or a year and a half ago, and now I'm gonna do a, an update of this video. So first of all, make sure that you're playing the game full screen. Uh, I have a couple of drop of random drop of FPS when I'm playing Borderless. So this one, just make sure that you're using full screen. After that resolution, a lot of people were asking me, what is this second number uh, between the bracket? Um, it, it, this is the number of Hertz that uh, you want to play. So for an example, my screen right now, my monitor is 144 Hertz. So I need to make sure that my resolution will match with the proper amount of Hertz that I want to use. By default, it was at 60. Uh, so uh, it was kind of bad for me. I didn't know about it. But... Um, yeah, so if you have like a 120 Hz screen, just put it there. If you have a 60, just stay at 60. Field of view, uh, it's more like a preference for people. Me, I always want to see more, so I'm putting in the max. Aspect ratio, I don't know if you guys are like some <laughs> like some crazy Counter-Strike player and want to play 4x3, but normally people are using 16x9. Uh, V-Sync and triple buffering, you want to remove that. Uh, you don't want to lock your screen and have some input lag, so just remove this. If you want to play with VSync on, make sure that you're adding uh, the triple buffering at on. Uh, reduce buffering, same thing, put it at off. So after that, before we're going to go to the graphic quality, uh, display performance stat, make sure that everything is at on. It's always cool to see like a temperature, your VRAM, FPS, etc. when uh, you want to do uh, some tests. So make sure that you're doing that. Uh, after that, uh, limit FPS, me, I'm putting in the maximum, so 300 in the game. Uh, if you see that you don't go under, for example, 190, you can like just lock it at 190, uh, you know, just to give a break to your video card. Um, and after that, graphic quality. So now, by default, when you're using ultra or I, this render scale will be higher, like 150, 200 or whatever. Make sure that your render scale is always at 100%. You just want the same scale as your resolution, and uh, it's one, okay? So 100% here, really important. Texture quality. This one is more like depending on your VRAM. So if you have, for example, one gig of VRAM on your video card, make sure that you're playing at low. But honestly, after three gig, you should be fine. Just test the game and look at your VRAM, and if it exceeds, for sure you will have some crazy drop of FPS. But uh, make sure that uh, you have some, you know, uh, if you have just 2 gig, don't go crazy with this one. Texture filtering quality. This one will not give you a lot of FPS, but if you have a laptop, entry level, integrate video card, make sure that you're using something like low or medium. Don't go crazy again with this one. Local, fo local fog detail. This one I saw 1 to 2 FPS depending where you're in the map. Uh, so you can go with medium. Uh, even if you have a low-end computer, it's not like that bad. The biggest one are dynamic reflection and shadow details. Those ones, you need to remove them. Uh, honestly, on my video card, I have a 1070. This gives me 10 to 12 FPS. Shadows, 12 to 14 FPS. So that's pretty, like, <laughs> this is a lot of FPS. For sure, you will gain less if you have, like, I don't know, an integrate the video card from uh, Intel because you don't have a lot of FPS. But honestly, this one you will gain. Uh, this is very important. Remove both of them. Uh, model detail. This one you will not see a big improvement. One FPS by bracket. So again, just go with medium if you have uh, an entry level uh, computer. Effect details and lighting detail. Those one are really uh, it gives an impact on your computer on your resources. Not like uh, dynamic reflection and shadow, but still you can gain two FPS by bracket. So kind of important. Uh, effect detail and lighting quality. Uh, effect detail, you will see uh, this one. It's not necessarily uh, your um, your frame when you're doing nothing. It's more like when you're fighting. Uh, a lot of effect depending on whatever who's shooting, etc. And uh, this one is more for your stability of your FPS. Okay, so very very important. If you want to be stable, just go with medium or low. Same thing with your lighting quality. You can uh, lower that down. And the aliasing, if you have like a, just a normal computer, for me normal computers, I don't know, if you have a GTX 960, 9, uh, 970, something like that, you go with SMAA medium, you should be fine with your anti-aliasing. If you have a low-end computer, go with FXAA. 
Uh, honestly, don't remove it because when you don't have anti-aliasing, your uh, image quality is kind of shitty and it's tough to see in front of you. So just go with FXAA. Refraction, the quality, this one, uh, it's, it's weird. On my MD car, I'm getting more FPS than my NVIDIA. Uh, so on my AMD, it's 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. On NVIDIA, it's 1 to 2. So uh, again, if you're uh, desperate and you're still not getting your 60 with the dynamic reflection, shadow details, lighting quality and effect detail, this one you can lower it to. Ambient inclusion and local reflection, remove that. With those removed, you will gain 4 FPS to 5 depending and uh, it, it should give you your 60 honestly. For sure if you have an integrate again uh, video card on a laptop, it will be tough for you. Make sure that you update all your drivers and if you're playing in a laptop, make sure that you're playing with high performance mode. I saw a lot of people complaining that uh, they, they had like some issue because the, the computer was not giving all the resources that it was supposed to be. Um, so make sure that you always play in high performance when you have a laptop and you should be fine. If you have any questions, just uh, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, RAM and uh, tell me what kind of issue you have with the game and I will try to help the best that I can. Thank you very much guys. Peace.